exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Steel Empire. As it goes into a demo player, <laughs> it's definitely got an arcadey uh, feel to it. Um, it is by Mebius and published by Teon. Um, it's a, as you can see, side-scrolling uh, shooter, a uh, twin-stick shooter, pretty much. And uh, I, it caught my eye because of the uh, whole, you know, steampunk aesthetic here. Uh, so we'll see. I haven't played any of it yet, so we'll see what it, what is in store for us. The one thing I will note, the game starts very, very loud. Uh, so if you have headphones on, don't wear them when the game first starts up. Also, it starts up with a very loud, um, repeating uh, buzzing noise. It, it almost sounds like the like the audio is stuck, but it's not. It's actually part of the game. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to skip past that as soon as you can. To ah, here, here it is. This is what you this is what you get when the game first starts up. Like I said, you don't want to you don't want to deal with that. Uh, that just repeats in very, very loudly. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's uh, begin our journey in Steel Empire here and see what is in store for us. And I'll do normal for now. Until now, with two L's. Um, and there's no way a human could read that fast. We had our secret weapon, the Mayo Thunder. Uh, okay. From the commander. The public received intel that the Empire had attacked by surprise the prominent mining city of Rawl. The aircraft carrier Reinhardt was immediately sent to the city of Rawl to defend its position and to rescue the city and its people from the Empire's invasion. Now there's some kind of Empire invasion going on. I couldn't read the text at the beginning of the of the game because it they went it went by too fast. Um, it also had some additional interesting spellings in it. Um, all right, rescue to mine. Uh, so cool. Let's do it. And what do I want to do? Et Eto Pirica or Zapellion. Uh Air speed slow, durability tough. Really normal speed, fast, ground and air. I guess I'll take the ground and air one. And I am using my controller for it, as you probably should for a for a twin stick shooter. Okay, the A was a bomb of some kind. Okay, now I'm shooting behind me for some reason. Uh, how do I shoot forward? Oh, B is shoot forward. All right. So X is shoot behind, B is shoot forward. That's interesting. Don't see too many of that in uh, twin stickers where you can do shoot both ways. So cool. Alright, and these guys coming from back. Music's actually, I mean, once you once you turn it down, uh, not too terrible. Um, it's certainly appropriate for the action that's going on. Reminds me a little bit... Again, a lot of things in here remind me of arcade stuff. I don't know if this was meant to be reminiscent of an arcade port, or if it actually is an arcade port. I I have no idea, but uh, it's so far so good here. I like how I, I dropped some bombs, too, for, for ground targets. And we got some hearts there. So my vitals are still good. So, uh, interesting. Uh, the thing that drew me to it was the interesting, ooh, interesting aesthetic. Certainly got one. Um, I'm hoping there's like power ups and stuff that aren't just like for one level. Like something like this, I would kind of hope there was like it's, you know, like. Almost like RPG-like things, uh, but you know, each their own on that. All 
Alright, let's... Don't mind this too much, I can get out in front of him and actually have a chance of doing damage. I might actually be doing half, half decent too. He says as he jinxes, jinxes, jinx himself. Oh, see, there's lots of nastiness coming out of that back pipe there. Make sure I keep that oop, on a leash here. There we go. Hmm, I didn't have that much health left, did I? So there's like an EX meter. I guess that's like the the superpower meter. I've seen those in in shooters before. Could uh, use my bombs too at some point. Use my big old, big old screen clearing bomb. I think it was A. Ah, there we go. Yep. Exactly what it was. Still kind of wasted it though. The uh, controls feel good. Controls feel real good. It feels very responsive. A lot of times you get a, a game like this. Ooh. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of delay in the, in the control inputs. And this one, I, I don't, if there's a delay, I don't feel it. It's uh, actually quite, quite pleasant, quite, uh, I'm able to really make my way around the screen with uh, relative precision. Take one of those. Oh, oh, we got... <laughs> we, got a, we got a train coming our way. Oof, oof. Let's not take any of those to the face if we can help it. Drop some bombs on them. Alright, so far so good. Feel pretty good about this. Oop, uh, that was a little bit, a little bit of damage there. Oop, okay, okay. Recover, recover. Keep shooting those bombs down. Ooh, there's another one. Well, this is cool. Taking the train out one thing at a time here. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, ow. That hurts a lot. A lot. I like that there's, there's a good amount of, uh, of invulnerability frames. Especially for my lack of skill. So I appreciate that. Looks like my little helpers here actually don't are invulnerable. So that's probably why I'm having so much success. Oh, he he says as he has <laughs> as his success wears out. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see what you're doing. All right. There we go. I feel I feel naked and abandoned without my without my little wingman, but uh, looks like we're we're landing. Cool. So uh, did we get like so we get some our points tallied up. That's cool. I just get a B rating. Is that all that is? <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, save a replay. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, no, I'm going to do, uh, next. In the underground mines known as, uh, something, the Empire's army is hidden and ready to ambush any intruders. Light, light and, light and gel. <laughs> it's, it's, 
sounds like a something you'd put on your toothache. Uh, but this isn't the only danger present in these mines. Yes, leakages are a common and dangerous occurrence. Oh, boy. Occurrence was really spelled badly there. Be careful and all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> there was way... There was a lot of... There was a lot of C's in occurrence. <laughs> it looked like. Uh, what do we got? We could use a Zeppelin, I guess, but... Um, I don't know. Is it going to be... Oh, let's let's try it and just see what it looks like. I mean, why not? I'm taking a evaluation of the game. I might as well run out of my comfort zone. Even though that other that other ship was really nice. Let's see how this how this handles. Oh, wrong button. Oh, okay. Well, they're 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 not. Not wrong when they say that it's very slow moving. It does have lots of bombs though. See, it only classified itself as an air thing, but it's it's dropping bombs on the ground, so I don't know. Maybe it's just not as good on the ground? Question mark. Because the bombs do go out quite far in the air. Seem to be hitting air targets more than they are ground targets. Oop, oop, we got guys in the back. Alright. Yeah, I still still liking the aesthetic and everything. Oh, boulders. Let me destroy these. There we go. Okay, we're all right still. We're making it. Give me that, give me that health. Give me all that health. I like this, I like the shooting behind you. This is far less frustrating for a twin stick shooter when you can shoot behind you like this. This is really cool. I like that. I mean, it may not be, it may not satisfy purists, but uh, I'm, I'm digging it. Well, that does not look pleasant. It's like some kind of heat ray or something. Does that just do damage over time when it hits you, or what does that do? Yeah, it looks like it does damage over time. Probably stay in front of it. There we go. And I should use my A. There we go. Oh, we're going back the opposite way now. Oh, fireball. Oh, now my... Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, now I'm using the opposite buttons. Which makes sense because we're facing the other way. Kind of. But kind of not. <laughs> like I was, I was expecting the forward guns to still be, still be the B button, but they're the Y button because we're firing to the left now. Oh god! Oh god! So much stuff. Oh, oh, too fast! Way too fast! Way, way too fast! Oh no! There's no way you could keep up with that in this thing. If I had known that, I would have had the, the faster ship. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, take that. Ooh, it's getting right up in my face here. Some more of that. Alright, 
we're doing okay so far. Oh, 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 come on. Just barely missing. Oh, now he's got giant balls, giant death tickles coming out at me. Oh, you turkey. Take that. What I say to that? Got him. Oof. All right. Not too shabby. Sorry, not the hardest thing I've ever done, but I am playing just on normal, so don't judge a book by its normal or a game for that matter. All right. Oh, is that just how many bombs I have left? Oh, I guess that's. The more bombs I have left, the more points I get. Okay, I thought that was like giving me like a B rating, like A, B, C, S, all that stuff. But no, that's not what that is. Okay. Empire's floating base and battleship is moving in and is approaching the ZX Toll area. Now is the time to attack the enemy. Both spots? Okay. It's going to be a long mission then. They have no choice but to surrender. Yeah. I mean, given that there's other circles on the map, I'm going to say that's probably not the case. Alright. So. Floating base symbol Empire's power. Uh, by taking over the base, we'll weaken the enemy. A small ship fighting against the turbulence is on the verge of destruction and has flown right into the machine gun fire from the enemy's battleship. Alright. Well, we're going to go back to our little plane then. And see how we do. Well, thank you. Thank you for that good luck. <laughs> good luck? It's like, it's like Star Fox. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this plane a lot better. Not that I don't mind that you can play with a Zeppelin, but uh, that is definitely for those in the crowd who love a, love a game that will <laughs> punish them punish them greatly. They love self punishments. Okay, so far so good. We got all this money, but what are we... Is that just score? Is that all that's doing? Yeah, it looks like it's just giving me score. Oop. Oop. Okay. So I see that money and I'm like, oh, can I have, like, upgrades and stuff? And no, it's just score. <laughs> no, this is... What you see is what you get. That's fine. I'm cool with it. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, okay. Don't try to hit multiple buttons at once. Doesn't work. <laughs> at least, at least if you have large nubbin fingers like me, it won't work very well. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that those didn't come through. is actually different. I, I can't say I've ever heard music quite like this. So it's uh, interesting. Um, it's certainly setting a mood. I don't know if it's. I mean, is this? This looks like a sky sky world. So there's certainly a 
musical aesthetic being put forth here. Almost like a, it's almost like the type of thing you would hear in, say, like a you know, uh, if you were going to say a Asian uh, map or something like that. But uh, I don't know if this qualifies as that or not. But uh, hey, I'll take it. Still pretty good. All that health. Thank you. So I'm gonna destroy the guns on that puppy. Get destroyed, turrets. Get destroyed. And they're flying in out of the out of the clouds at me. Doing any damage here? I don't think so yet. Get lots of hits. I don't have any any super bombs or anything left. So I gotta make do with what we got here. And get all the I didn't get all the propellers on that thing. That's unfortunate. There we go, there's some health. Like the health pickups are pretty generous. That might be just due to the fact that I'm only on normal. Go, drop bombs on them. And they are shooting me. In the face. It's not cool. Okay. Coming back for a round two here. Yep, there it comes. It's not the round two I was expecting. I was expecting this thing to shoot at me, and instead I'm getting planes. Getting lots of damage too. Go. Alright, well, oh, I see. They're hangers that are setting planes at me. Ah. I got it. Counts. Try to hit this while I can. Destroy all those things coming at me as well. There we go. Uh, uh, this guy. Some damage there. Oh, even more damage. Alright. Well, we took that puppy down. So, normal's kind of feeling more like, uh, more like easy, honestly. Doesn't feel like it's, uh, it's really challenged me that much thus far. Um, so just a, just a note there on that.
But uh, I think uh, I I don't want to play through the entire game. I want I want you to have a reason to actually come back and and take a look at this. So we're gonna we're gonna stop it there since uh, I think we have a good idea of what Steel Empire has in store for us. It is by uh, Mebius and published by Taeon. It's currently fifteen dollars U.S. on Steam. That might be a bit much um, as far as the price con is concerned, but uh, it's still, you know, nice artwork. Uh, it's very fluid in its uh, movements. Um, the sound is, you know, the music is pretty good. The sound design is uh, uh, subpar at the at the moment. Uh, and again. Bear in mind if you do pick this up to uh, don't wear your headphones when you first launch the game or else you will you will be quite quite deaf. Um, any in any case, in any case, uh, it's pretty decent. I would be this would be more of a uh, buy it on sale kind of thing. I wouldn't necessarily advise you to pay fifteen bucks for it, but uh, uh, it's pretty good for what is for what is here. So. Uh, as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.